Hey YouTube, this is the Space Raider Techie and this is my first tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to change the look on screen background for Windows 7 which is this uh, this big graphic here as well as the user account image um, and we'll also change the desktop just to kind of put things in a, in a, in a theme so uh, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you find it useful and uh, let's crack on so the first thing we need to do is log the machine in and we need to go to the registry so the couple of ways we can do this we can press the Windows key plus the R key which will bring up the run command and we can type reg edit and we can click on OK or you can click on start if you've got the run command enabled you can click on run or you can do as I've done and create a shortcut to reg edit um, now bearing in mind sometimes you need to run reg edit as the run administrator so if you do create a shortcut just right click on the shortcut go to properties go to advanced and just put a tick in the box that says run as administrator this just stops any issues when you try and save changes to the registry otherwise sometimes you get permission denied so uh, that's that's it now I've already prepared some files here in this folder here I've got the background image I'm going to use for the log on screen, um, the desktop image I'm going to use for Windows and also the user account image and I'll show you through the different stages where we put these these images right so the first thing we need to do is go into the registry so just launch this and you want to go to HK local machine and go down to software and Microsoft Windows current version authentication log on UI and click on this one background now in here we need to create a new value so we need a, a 32 bit D word value so in this white space here just right click the mouse click on new click on D word 32 bit and we want to call this OEM background now currently its data value is set at zero so we just need to modify this just double click the uh, the new entry and change its value from zero to one okay right next thing we need to do is go down into Windows Explorer go to your local operating system disk your C disk and go to Windows system 32 and looking for a folder called Ubi that's it this one right here okay now in here we need to uh, create two additional folders so right click anywhere in this space and go to new go to folder and this one we call info and then double click inside this info folder and we need to create another folder called backgrounds so right click in the space go to new go to folder and this time type backgrounds okay and we want to put our background picture inside this backgrounds folder so double click on your backgrounds now because my images are on the desktop um, we can just click this little button down here which will show desktop and I'm going to grab my image that I'm going to use as the log on screen background which is just a, basically a black image now we need to copy this so just right click go to copy and go back to your backgrounds folder and right click and go to paste the image needs to be called background default spelt the same as, as it is on the screen there so background default okay once we've done that we can come out of there and come out of the uh, the graphic files for now the next thing we're going to do is change the user ac accounts um, logon image so the way we can do this is first of all we need to create the image you want to use now I've got this little windows symbol here and it's called user tile 45 but let's just right click on this and we go to copy and then we need to go to 
your C drive program data now this is a hidden folder here so if you don't have this you need to go into your tools menu go to folder options go to view and you want to show hidden files folders and drives so this one here put a tick in this box here okay so you need to go to program data you need to go to Microsoft and user account pictures and default pictures and just right click and go to paste and there's our image right there okay so come out of this now to make that image effective on your account we need to go to start go to control panel and scroll down to user accounts and you have this option here called change picture now this is the image here we want to change this little kind of flower orangey flower thing so click on change your picture now currently we don't see the image here so we've got this browse for more pictures and then we just browse again program data Microsoft user account images default pictures select our newly uh, graphic we want to use click on open and there we go there is our change picture there so if we just come out of here that's done now now if we just log this machine off what we should now see is that we have a nice back black background here for the logon screen and we also have our customized user account logon image now the only thing left to do, which is this is optional, is just change the background for the Windows desktop. Just to, I like to put things in, in like themes. You haven't got to do this, but this is just a personal preference for me. So we just log the machine back in again. And this is what we want to change here. This blue image here, I just want to put some kind of graphic in. So, so we'll just take our image. I'm going to use this picture here called 74. So just right click, go to copy, and go to your C drive go to Windows, scroll down to Web and go to Wallpaper and then go to Windows. As you can see I've already got the image here but we'll, we'll overwrite that. So right click and we go to Paste and Copy and Replace. Now to make this effective you can right click and go to Personalize and at the bottom here you've got this desktop background just click on that drop this box down to Windows desktop backgrounds and then scroll all the way down and then there's our image so just select it and click on save changes and voila there we go there's our new desktop background so this isn't the only way of doing these things. I mean, I'm sure there are multiple ways of doing exactly the same thing. This is just the way that I do it, which works for me. I, I, I change all my machines just to kind of give it that little personal personal touch. Um, if you get stuck, then just rewind the video and watch it again. And, uh, you know, just take your time. Some of these things, it's e they're easy to miss. Um, if you've got any questions, if you need help, just uh, leave me a message or post me a comment and I'll do my very best to uh, to guide you through it and to, and to help you get the same result. Well, thanks for watching.